Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are here with a Black Knight guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many guides as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Also, in addition to that, got plenty of places you can check myself and the community out down below in the description. I'd appreciate that greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So the main reason you'd be killing Black Knights is for the achievement diary for the Falador Elite, where you have to purchase a white two-handed sword from Surviving. For that, as far as my gear goes, it's a pretty basic setup, just my best melee gear that I have on my Iron Man currently. I have a ring of wealth that can pick you up about 20k worth of coins whenever you're on this journey of getting your 1200 kills. You could bring a Berserker ring if you'd like or whatever ring of your choosing, but basically all you're going to need is just some decent gear. You really don't even need that good of defensive gear. Black Knights are very low level, so you'll be fine in that regard. But the best melee DPS bonuses is going to be more than ideal for you. For the inventory here, I have two super combat sets, so two super attacks, two super strengths, two super defenses. I also have a cannon along with a lot of cannonballs. You're going to need about 4k cannonballs to be able to complete the 1200 kills, so bring those if you desire. Definitely makes this much easier, much more AFK, would highly recommend. It's only going to cost you a little over 700k, so I think it's worth it. In addition to that, I have a bone crusher that will get you a little bit of passive prayer XP while you're here. I have some food, which you probably don't even need to be honest, but if you're a lower level, maybe, probably aren't a low level, so really, you don't even need to bring the food, I'm just bringing it just to, you know, accommodate everyone, alright? From there, I have a stamina potion and a Falador teleport as well, so let's go ahead and get on out there, I'm gonna teleport to Falador right now, that was kind of weird, and uh, we can talk about how to get there. So you're gonna want to head to the southwest of Falador and hop on over this wall right here, then we're gonna want to make our way on over to the Taverly Dungeon to the northwest. While you're heading up there, go ahead ahead and drink your stamina potion and then climb down the ladder that you'll see up ahead once you've done that then we are going to have to make our way to the southeast of this dungeon so we're going to have to either choose this route where we walk on through the blue dragon area go south a good bit and then find our way down there or you're gonna have to take the longer route where you walk around and then go on down you could also take a little shortcut there through those doors depends how you want to go about it i'd imagine at this point in the game you've been through the taverly dungeon so i don't need to explain it all to you watch out for some of the blue dragons they could deal some fire damage to you so if you don't have any food well then maybe you should have brought some <laughs> but more than likely you should be good and realistically the black knights don't do any damage at all so you'll be all right once you get on in though, then go ahead and head east through that gate, run on to the south, cross a couple bridges, and then we will find ourselves around some scorpions. Keep on moving through and to the south of those, you will then find a little section of hill giants. Once you pass through there, then we will be home free, exactly where we need to be. So we found some black knights. Now you could go in this open little area, but there's not the most amount of black knights and there's a lot of tables to get in your way. So you're gonna wanna go into the southern section right here. If you're on rune light, there will already be a cannon marker down if not then just go ahead and walk two tiles south of this chair right here so drink up on your super combats and then go ahead and place down your cannon if you're using the rune like cannon plugin that is what has marked these squares red for me basically turn on the double hit spots and that'll show you where you want to lure the black knights whenever you're killing them if you're actively killing them you could just lure them on each individually the way i like to go about it is to stand right here that way the ones that filter in from the north and to the west and sometimes even from the east they'll filter on onto that tile and this tile as well the ones from the south will filter right there so they won't necessarily be on the two hit tile but that's more than okay at least two thirds of them will be and then just afking right here is a grand old time the kills come really quick and whenever you're not being attacked your cannon will attack all of the black knights in the room allowing for more kills per hour so the less time you're in combat with Black Knights physically and the more time that the cannon's in combat, the better off you're going to be. You do run out of cannonballs relatively quickly, so just make sure to keep up on them. I will talk about the loot that you can manage. So I've done 1,250 Black Knight kills and looking here, as you can see, managed two Ranar weeds, 16k coins, managed two Ranar weeds, 16k coins, a decent bit of runes, but nothing too crazy. As you can see, two death runes, three law runes at a time. So if you want to pick those up, that's up to you. It's a little bit of GP, but it's nothing too much. In addition to that, there's some sapphires, some emeralds, and a couple other herbs that you could go ahead and pick and choose if you'd like. But really, they don't drop anything all too much, so I wouldn't worry about it that badly. So in total, this should take anywhere between an hour and two hours. Really nothing that 
that terrible compared to what some other elite diaries can be like. Whenever you get your 1200th kill in the chat, it will now say that you are a white knight master. So congratulations to you. That is how you will know when you can then go and buy your white two-handed sword. If you're not sure where to do that, I will show you the location real quick. So you're going to want to head on down to the south right here into the Falador Castle and then enter the eastern door on the lowest level right on over here. Once you're there, enter the second eastern door and then the third eastern door, climb up the ladder and then head on out this western door and climb up this staircase over here. Then you'll be on the third level where surviving is located over here. Talk to him and then say, do you have anything for trade? He will then show you everything he has available and from there, you can buy a white two-handed sword for the cheap price of 1.92 thousand GP. And then you're good to go, and the rest of the Falador Diary shouldn't be too difficult for you at all. So that is going to be it for this Black Knight guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. In addition to that, like I mentioned before, got plenty of links you can check myself and the community out down below and would appreciate it greatly. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, peace!